All right, y'all. I think I had to dive into Larry Bird. There's a lot of people out here who don't understand how good this man was. How legendary he is. He's one of the greatest to ever do it. You know, there's been talk about Larry Bird getting kicked out of the top 10 of all time. I don't know how that can happen. But we're going to get into that after this reaction, after this video. Because that's something I got to say about that. Especially that all the people that's getting kicked out of the top 10 because of this generation that's like kicking them out and they putting them up in there now. No, I don't agree with that. But well, without further ado, we're going to jump into and check this out. He was the most motivated player I ever saw. Larry Bird <laughs> is one of the biggest trash talkers ever. <clears throat> Larry was basketball genius. A mask of a hick from Finch Lick <laughs> out as his calling card. And if you believe that for one second, uh, you were going to get beaten. Charcoal mellow drop by drop oh, for come a on. smooth finish, which isn't the easy way, but it is Jack's way. What I can say about Bird, he didn't have no hops, but this man had a vision. Man, this dude can see the entire court. Like, it's insane how scary this man is, how good he is. Like, it's scary. And people say this man won't be able to play today. He probably wouldn't because there ain't no physicality in the game today. Shit, he'll probably walk off the court knowing motherfuckers ain't trying to be physical. Bird is a physical guy. That's how it was back in them days, for real. But I'm going to talk about that, too, when it's over. I I'm going to get it right here, Ed, and I'm going to shoot it in your face. Hmm. He hit it, he looked at me, and he was like, damn. I didn't mean to leave nothing on the clock. <laughs> That's the first three-point contest, he says. I'm just, just looking to see who's going to finish second. This is the time hmm. for the money. Did he say he was looking to see who's going to finish second? All right, we'll see about that. It's absolutely unbelievable. Dominique guarded him, Cliff guarded him, Antoine Carr guarded him, my guarded him. Uh, nothing worked. Bird with eight <laughs> seconds. Bird on the drive. The runner is good again. Oh. Larry Bird is just unconscious. He called it. Uh, he said rainbow uh, trainers lap. Ooh. And Bird falls into Joe O'Toole. Guys are into the benches giving each other five. I mean, Bird is a bad man. Bird has 60 points. He would do a head fake. Or he would do this, and the guy would turn, and he would just fake the crap out of God. Mmm. Larry told all of us and the media he said tomorrow night's the last game of the trip i'm gonna play this one left-handed and what the end of three quarters the next night in portland we had 27 points left hand He was behind the basket and he released that left hand shot. Mm. 
for three, but it won't count. It does not count. And Larry just hit what would have been the game-winning shot, but KC called timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and you know he was a little upset. He looks at the bench and says, "Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm gonna go right to the same spot." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get out of here! This man hit two game-winning shots in one game. How is that possible? Two game winners, y'all. He would just flick it or tap it or bounce it to a teammate without even catching it. <laughs> Damn. Celtic fans, I think that most of the arena and the Detroit Pistons forgot that Larry Bird hadn't quit. Five five ninety one. Oh. of all of these accomplishments and all these things he does, Larry Bird plays hurt. Mm. The Indiana Pacers pick up their level of attention. They smell it right now. They know the leader is not on the floor. Someone needs to step up now for Boston. Personalities. That's what I've been waiting on. The Magic Johnson and Larry Bird thing. These two here. Mm, I can't wait to watch that mixtape about them two. Backgrounds, but their value system was identical. Mmm. Just imagine, you got one team, you got Magic. You got another team, you got the other team, and has Larry. 
neither one of them likes to give up. Neither one of them. Like, they have the same style of play, which is hustle, hustle, and hustle. Never give up. I would have loved to see them games. Oh, it would have been an absolute treasure to be old enough to witness those games. Either on T, I don't know if they were being played on TV at that time. I'm pretty sure. I mean, they were. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure on that. But I would have loved to be there in that atmosphere. Just look at that. It's so much different now than today's game, because everyone is waiting on a three-point shot. That right there. That's all game. Nothing but hustle. Nothing but physicality. Like it's real basketball. You know, I'm tired of people hearing people say, well, if basketball ain't football. No, it's not football. It's not about hurting someone or tackling someone, but it's a physical game. Well, it used to be a physical game. Now they just let these players freelance and do what they want, shoot. Everyone keeps saying that's just, you know, that's the way of the game. Now people want to see excitement. People want to see high scores. Not me. I want to see defense. I want to see someone get knocked on their ass. I want to see someone earn their fucking shot. I want to see low scoring games. For real, that's just me, y'all. That hook shot was a call out to Kareem. I heard he did that because of Kareem. So I may be wrong, but I'm. I don't think so. I think that was a call out to Kareem. I believe he even talked about that in one of his interviews. It's the reason he did that hook shot. Look at that. Please welcome now the Irvin Magic Johnson. Greatest basketball player ever, but more important, a friend forever. I dedicated my life to basketball, and I dedicated my life to the Boston Celtics. My basketball career is officially over, mm. and I had a blast. But tonight I leave you and I say thank you, Boston. Good night. Almost added a tear on that one, y'all. You know, I used to be a huge fan of the game. And sorry about this dark setting. That's just how I want it right now. But back to the top this top ten thing, whatever. I don't care about what's going on today in the game. I'm happy that they making their money. They, you know, they teaching these kids how to showboat, how you know, I really don't know what to say about today's game. All I can tell you is I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the three-point shot. Not, you know, constant threes throughout the game. I'm just not a fan of that. I like how it was back in the day, in the 90s. Even the early 2000s. I don't know what the fuck happened. How the game evolved to nothing but three-point shots and no defense. And, you know, that's why a lot of these players today are breaking records left and right because there's no defense, so it's easy to break these records. You know, these players from back in the day, they earned them records, man. They they poured their hearts out, man. They bled to get these records. And now they're just being broken by this generation today because there's no defense. It's easy to score. It's easy to rebound. It's easy to give assists. All that shit is easy to do. That's what a lot of motherfuckers ain't looking at. They breaking these records. It's easy to do. Then you pushing these all-time great players out of the top 10 and putting these new people in because of what they're doing in today's game. Because it's easy today. 
So I don't think they should be pushing. I, I believe if there's a top 10, it should stay that way. It should be no one getting moved out and put in. It should stay that way. Just keep it as a top 10. That's just going to be the top 10 forever. If someone else, like, make a top 10 for the newer generation. It should be a top 10 for the older generation, a top 10 for the newer generation. Like, start it off from, like, a top 10 from whenever basketball started to, say, 1970. Then do it from 1970 to 2000. Then do from 2000 to now. Do top 10s like that. Don't take people who earned those spots out. Larry Bird is forever going to be in my top 10. Magic Johnson, forever in my top 10. Michael Jordan, forever in my top 10. Kobe Bryant, forever in my top 10. Simple as that. They ain't going nowhere. It's it's crazy. I don't care how talented these other athletes are or what they're doing today. I'm not taking them out of my top ten. They deserve that shit because the game was just so much harder back then. And Larry Bird, what can I say? That man, wow, just seeing that, the man played hurt. The man played with passion. He was focused. He wanted to win, and the legendary battles with Magic Johnson, you don't see that no more. You don't. My uh, Michael Jordan, he didn't have, like, no one he battled because he always won. Yeah, people talk about the 80s Michael Jordan. That was all about scoring. That Michael Jordan was all about scoring. He didn't too much care about winning. My opinion is just about scoring, setting his mark like getting himself like making himself become the greatest player of all time that's what the 80s was all about then when it got to the 90s when he got his team formed when he got the players that he needed it was over with but as far as having someone he battled someone who gave michael no yeah maybe in game one-on-ones but as far as like winning no jordan won it damn near every year once he won and the reason he didn't win it those last those two years because he left the game and people keep saying well houston would have beat them no the fuck they wouldn't i don't care how good the dream was i don't know they would not have beat the chicago bulls no team would have beat the chicago bulls chicago bulls they could have won the entire 90s if jordan didn't retire after 98 they could have won 99. so they could have won that 90 for 95 season they could have won that 99 season they would have won throughout the 90s if they really wanted to the man went to the finals and never lost simple as that but larry bird back to larry bird he was he was just one of the best i'm sorry he was one of the best and i gotta get me a larry bird jersey i love that green and white color for real you know the green and white jersey with the faded jeans and the all white ones Ooh, watch out for that y'all it's coming is coming but until next time y'all uh i hope y'all enjoyed this reaction if you're a fan of Larry Bird, hit me up in the comments and let me know and as always make sure y'all subscribe to this channel until next time peace love and all net <laughs> i'm out of here